Every day promises June 19th a new communication. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of the fools pours forth foolishness. Proverbs 15 verse 2. It is important how you communicate with your kids. Children as a whole have great observation power. In school, the students observe their teachers and imitate them. At home, children observe their parents and copy them. Speaking and thinking are interrelated. As you think, so you speak. Proverbs 18.21 states, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. It explains itself. You can either bring death or life through the words you speak. A born-again Christian should moderate his or her talk. You should talk positively. You should communicate wisely. In Genesis 22, we see Abraham taking his son Isaac for the sacrifice. On the way, Isaac raises a doubt. Father, we have the fire and the wood, but where is the sacrificial lamp? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide. Genesis 22, verses 7 to 8. Just as Abraham spoke words of faith, God provided him the sacrificial lamp. Your children may come and come to you asking several questions. Mommy, all my friends are coming in cars to school. I don't even have a bicycle. Daddy, see uncles, aunties and neighbors have beautiful houses. When will we get our own house? What will you answer on such occasions? Do you say shut up and get out? Or will you say my son, my daughter, God will provide? Teach them to trust God. To depend on God, the way you communicate with your children, so do they learn to communicate with others. Read Colossians 4, 6. And so, let your speech always be with grace. Let's pray. Abba Father, I ask for a special grace that I may communicate not as a carnal person, but as a spiritual person. Help me to speak words of faith, words of wisdom, words of courage and words of blessings so that I may bring glory to you. I ask this grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse for the day. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 31 verse 24. God bless you all and have a blessed day.